press this on your mouse to orbit around. Press that with this to pan. Scroll up and down with this button on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Here's something cool. Use shift and reverse quotations to fly around with WASD. Press X to delete stuff. Let's delete this cube. Use right click to select stuff. Let's delete this lamp. Shift A insert stuff. Let's insert five cubes. To select everything, press A. To deselect everything, press Alt A. Press G to move stuff. Press G and then an axis to restrict it on that axis. S scale is an object. Add an axis after scale to restrict it on that axis. Press R to rotate. Double tap the axis after G to move it on its own axis. This is good for rotated parts. Let's add a cube with Shift A. Press tab with the cube selected to go into edit mode. This at the top changes between vertex, edge, and face selection mode. Control R adds edge loops. To extrude something, press E. I will inset faces. These things at the top change the pivot point. Press Alt and right click to select face, edge, and vertex loops. Press Ctrl B to bevel an edge. You can select multiple objects with shift. You can model a ton of cool stuff with just extrude, inset, and bevel. F fills holes around the geometry selected. The knife tool can fix up bad topology. Press K to start knifing up faces. Press O to use proportional editing. This influences the geometry around it. With some time and effort, you can model something like this goose. Press W in an auto smooth in object mode to control the smoothness. You can go into the normals in an auto smooth tab to control the smoothness. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you did. Also, check out my next modeling and texturing tutorial.